Hello everyone, my name is Bao Kan He and today uh, I want to talk about a really cool structures of carbon which is called Buckminster Fullery. First I'm going to talk briefly about what is full, what is six, C60 and West fluorine and its property and its sub applications and then I'm gonna do some calculations to see what is one molecule of C60s what is the radius of one molecule of C60s and how far um, from each other of two C60 molecules in one unit cell first um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna introduce about the Buckminster fullerene. Um, besides many well-known allotropes of carbon, such as graphite, diamonds, or nanotubes, there is another kind of allotrope of carbon called fullerene. And C60 is one of the type of fluorine. It consists of 60 carbon atoms and each carbon atom bonding together by two single bonds and one double bond. And the whole structures of this molecule has a shape of a soccer ball or the shape is known, also known as a truncated icosahedron. So this is the 3D model that I did um, to illustrate the structures of C60. So I can show it here. This is not the best 3D model, but it looks like a soccer ball <laughs> and yeah it consists of many many small and for these for these angle um, it will be re replaced by a carbon atom and it makes like a whole bookie ball and the whole structure would look like a trap uh, a, a sphere trapping inside um, because of its structures it insoluble in water and the structure is really tight and it's really high tensile strain and it's really good in electrical conductivity because the there there are a lot of double bonds inside the molecules which allows the electrons to transfer and and because of the structures it also reduces transmittance of light and because of that um it is also used to delivery trucks um, because its structure can trap molecules inside it and then um, it's, it will be easier to transfer molecules, other molecules um, and because it's reduced, trans, reduced light is also used to use as the optical limiters So for the calculations, um, because because the C60 molecules are usually packed into the F FCC lattice, and uh, from experimental, the lattice constant is usually approximately equals to 1.4 
one one nanometer and as you can see I, I just calculated here and I will get like I will get the radius of one of a ball of CCD molecule is approximately one one point four nine approximately point five nanometer but in but in real life but in real life the real diameter of a ball of CCP is approximately 0 0.711 nanometers so which is approximately the radius approximately 0.355 nanometers and which is which is much less much smaller than the radius calculated which is proof that there's like there's a space actually space between the atoms I'm sorry there's a really large spaces between two molecules of CCP so um, I just we oh and then I recalculate by using the real radius of one molecule of CCP to get the to get the space the space of between two molecules which is 0.288 nanometers 